My name is Rapsing, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded! Oh, hell yes. Uh, we have one thing we're gonna quickly do here. Beep the cultist. Good lord. Oh, hey! I'm now in the authors! That's not correct. I didn't do anything. <laughs> but it now has Earl, Filth, Moo Cows Go, Moo, Tammy Animations, Blue Knight, Giuseppe, and Rhapsody in the Community. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to the config and replace two of your starting ceremony cards with crazy rituals. Hell yeah. I need to do this. It's just going to be an RNG run entirely. I don't know how value viable it's going to be, rather. Lose, two, lose all gold in order to remove two cards is going to get us to our crazy rituals faster. By the way, in case you're unfamiliar, at the start of your turn, play the effect of a random card from a random class on a random target. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be defending, playing those, and just watching how the fights go. It's <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be very much like um, Salty Bet, effectively. I'm just going to set everything up and just watch it go. All right, cool. Ceremony Strike. Open and naturally here. Crazy Rituals Defense. Oh, we played Dropkick. Cool. Crazy Ritual Defense. What? Uh, we played Hemogenesis and Tools of the Trade. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Awakened One's Ritual and a Stick Smack from our own class. Cool. <laughs> uh... Survival Instincts can only play if you haven't played other cards this turn. Gain one intangible and become entangled. This, when upgraded, effectively is... Oh, do you need to set up powers? You can use that this turn. So I'm going to take it. I need to upgrade my Crazy Rituals and the setup. But this this is going to be cool. I'm even going to burn the ceremony. I just want... I want the Crazy Rituals. Ooh, that's an unfortunate one. <laughs> This is going to get nutty. It's not necessarily going to be balanced at all, but I don't think that's the point with this. I think fun is the point with... Ooh. <laughs> Tie -da -die and Reaper. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to try and go for all... Wow, Machine Spirit. Hell yes. Uh, I'm going to try and go for all of the hardest things that we can get done. So I'm going to go for as many elites as possible. Something terrifying if it turns up. Because um, it would be super cool to just roll the die, see how it goes. And that's right, you're only allowed to roll one. Oh, Survival Instincts is actually disabled. Okay, I didn't think it was going to be disabled because the Crazy Ritual specifically says, at the start of your turn, play the effect of a random card from a random class on a random target, rather than play a random card from a random class on a random target. So I had to assume it wasn't playing a card, um, but apparently it is, so Survival Instinct's not going to work. Damn. That also means that I just removed Survival Instinct from the deck. It's an actively negative thing that I've got there. Okay. Uh, what's memory tap gonna give us? We <laughs> we now get to evolve as the beaked. Ooh, okay. Occasionally, it will play bad cards for us. Hang on, survival instinct is now playable. Why wasn't it playable last time? What counted as a card? Oh. Okay. I know the enemy has... What? Hang on, those went out of order. The Crazy Rituals was trying to cast two cards at the start of that turn. It was trying to cast... Uh, oh, never mind, I can't even see them. Uh, but it was trying to cast something. I think it was Burst. Uh, yeah, it was Burst. Burst and then One Way Mirror. It triggered Burst. Burst didn't trigger on One Way Mirror. But the attack that I queued up in between those two somehow occurred before the vulnerability from One Way Mirror. Weird. Um, Hex 
seems like another... I, but I, I... No. Dig deep. We'll take dig deep. Heal three HP for each ritual you have. Does that count crazy ritual? Or does it only count ritual, the keyword from ceremony? It's not going to count crazy ritual. I have to guess. It's not going to count crazy ritual. So uh, then I'm not going to take that. This is the crazy ritual deck. So I'm just going to be taking it and things to support it. And then playing until the crazy rituals win us the fight. Fusion and it does generate. Hell yeah. That's very, very, very nicely done. I like it. Get those ceremonies out there. I know I could have double attacked that turn, but... Uh, okay, so the first one tried to trigger its effect on uh, the first enemy and hit. And then the second one tried to trigger its effect on the first enemy, which didn't exist anymore. And as a result, didn't hit. Okay. I haven't played other cards this turn. I, I have not played other... Okay. All right, uh, let's go for the double strikes here then. Hey, Barrage is actually going to do damage. Mmm. I'm going to take none of those. Machine Spirit, the crazy Ritz heal there. Consume an Obscuring Mist. Works for me. I obviously should have played two defense there for two HP. Counter and turn the tables. Okay, counter is at least going to be damage. Not half bad. Seek and defend. Do we get to choose the result of seek? Okay, we do. It doesn't just auto cast itself. That's interesting. I would have expected it to. Okay, we now have four crazy rituals in place, so... Uh, we got violence. RNG is cast for X cost, but usually X cost when it's randomly generated uh, is X for your current value uh, of energy. And then... Wait a second. I I'll tell you what I think just happened in a second. Uh, but it's X for your current value, uh, but you keep your energy, right? Uh, consider when you Havoc a Whirlwind atop of your deck, you cast it for your full X cost, but you keep your X cast as well. Um, that's why that's actually a particularly good synergy. Uh, but the fact that Consume played, I think... I think it, it... It took the invisible orb slot that we have as every character, because every character has the possibility through things like Prismatic Shard, uh, to get defect cards that have orbs. Um, but I think we consumed the invisible orb slot, and it doesn't generate a new one to take the orbs from RNG because it only reveals the one that exists there if you start using orb cards. So I think that's what happened to us there. Um, Molting helps us get through the deck faster. Oh, hell yeah. Get those crazy rituals out. We literally just want to defend, so molting the strikes totally makes sense. Crazy rituals as well as machines... Literally what I asked for. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> Hyper Beam. All right. Guess we're waking him up this turn. <laughs> Wasn't really planning on that, but okay. Steam Barrier and Scrape. Okay. Totally reasonable. Um, I have to play the Crazy Rituals because that's the whole point of this run right now. Brewmaster! Oh my god, obtain a random potion at the end of each round. Ethereal. Although I have to kill this round, don't I? Yeah, I do. Uh, letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. And no. <clears throat> uh, hell yeah. Explosive potion. Very glad to have it for this combat. Saves this entirely. Uh, actually, with the letter opener, we probably could have just defended a bunch and eventually won that as well. That probably would have been a better idea. Not going to take any of those cards there. Uh, yeah, let's get the survival instinct out of the deck. It's actually not good. Because of how it interacts here for us currently at this point in time. Okay. 
I really wanted to double strike the back line and just throw a fire potion at it, but I don't know about that. Seems like maybe if we crazily ritualize, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Siege form and rip and tear. Yeah, because it can pl uh, play powers, it can get really strong. That's the super cool thing about it. But it's obviously not always going to be that. And occasionally it's just going to heal me for a bunch like it just did there. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we're molting the machine spirit now. Let's remove that from the deck. Because you no longer have anything to play it on. Oh, I didn't have enough energy at the end to play the strike. Wow. Oh, I got so caught up playing everything else. Okay. Wait a second. Is it calculated gamble going to have dates? Yeah, okay. So that didn't actually end up letting me play my strike. So I couldn't interrupt at that time. Weird. Uh, whenever you have vulnerability or weaken, it is applied to the enemy that sent it. Uh, power potion as well as dark tribute. Heal all HP. Gain three poison uh, with this for negative three. So that increases the poison over time. Um, we're still not going to take that. Shadow fade. Now I take shadow fade. Uh, Darkstone Perry, after whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. Not that bad. Not even slightly, in fact. I want these crazy rituals upgraded so that it's easier to play them and defend myself on the same turn. Oh, cool. We got accuracy out there. I mean, literally not useful to us at all. But hell, it might be. We might now play something that it's, uh, that it's amplifying. Really sad story on that one. Overexert. We doubled our energy, but for each energy gained, we lost 3 HP. That's a lot. Oh, that's rough. Oh, we were retaining our hand at the end of that turn. We actually could have held on to a lot of that. Uh, okay, get the frontliner down. Backliner is going to just attack for increasing amounts every single turn. So Thunderclap occurs, does four damage in the vulnerability. And then Snowball was amplified by vulnerability. So then why wasn't the... Why did Burst not trigger on the... Oh. I don't know. Foresight, extra energy next turn. Is that necessary? See, extra energy is never necessary for us unless it's in the setup to the crazy rituals and they get upgraded to remove the energy cost. Or lower it, at least. All right, I'm going to power potion for a random... Oh, nice. We did get crazy rituals. Cool. <clears throat> Should have played the defend there. Stack Discharge and Defy Death. Nice. That didn't even wake up the Log of All in. I'm amazed. Machine Essence. Hell yeah. And now that we've played a multicast that's revealed the invisible orb slot. Grand Finale won't be able to play, right? Because it doesn't meet its uh, trigger condition. Yeah, so it can't play. Sorry, but you can't play with us. Hyper Beam, Gemini Form, Hemokinesis, and Ready to Action. The fact that it can draw from cards that lower your HP, uh, like Hemokinesis, like the Overexert in particular, that, that could hurt. Target down. Runic Dedicahedron, if your HP is full, gain energy at the start of each turn. Oftentimes, we start with full HP, so sure. Because we farm out extra HP at the end of a previous fight. That's how we start with full HP. Sure. Get them out on the field. Ooh, claw rake. I'd love to have played another defensive card that turn, but it's more important I get the tools out. Some extra defense next turn from the blur, not bad. 
Desperate String as well as Strike from Hell means that we're definitely going to be breaking you this turn. All right, back on full HP. So we get the extra energy from Runic Dodecahedron. Choose a card to copy. Should, yeah, it shouldn't matter. Hey, three medium essence limes. We actually got a new relic. Uh, Bottled Rain. Upon pickup, choose a card. This card will always retain. Machine Spirit, so that we always can hold it for our final thing. Um... Oh, and now I don't get any loot for the fight. All right, hang on. Because I ordered that incorrectly and, and looted from the Infinite Spire at the wrong time, I don't get my loot from that fight. So I have to redo the combat. <laughs> I wasn't planning on redoing the combat. If you do that in a boss room, it actually just respawns you uh, at the end of the combat. I wonder if Crazy Rituals is going to draw from the same... Yeah, it is. Looks like it is. Nice. Work, leaving finish, yeah. These worked in like a slightly different order last time. No, it's the same. Attack you that turn. Yeah, play all the rest of those. Rune sticks and nightmare, yeah. Yeah, okay, so it all does play out exactly the same. Beautiful. Now I'll take my loot. Now we can get the uh, Machine Spirit upgrade there. Survival Instincts. Finally, we actually managed to use it. Hell yeah. Black Thunder, channel three lightning and one dark. Um, in that order? <laughs> okay. Uh. It's super important I get those in play. I'll be able to heal up two more HP before the end of the combat. Pretty easily. Nice. Mm -mm. Uh, flinch. But Withers is the problem. I think I want Roost. Like, Roost is, like, extremely high value draw for us. Obviously, more... Crazy Rituals is insane as well. Could have played two more defenses that turn. For five damage. Dedication just gets played. One strength, one dex. Not bad. Unfortunately, that means I can't play the Survival Instinct as well. Right, there goes our max HP for this combat. Yeah, all of those seem like good ideas. Ooh, power up. And it did increase all of them as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's actually super dope. I love that. <laughs> Fantasy of Searing Blow Rage. Oh. I like playing like this. I don't know how many runs I'm going to like playing like this for because... Like, obviously... When everything's random, everything's also very similar. So I imagine that I will at some point tire of it, but... Gosh, the novelty is not wearing off. This is so cool. Uh, okay. Hang on. But if you gain Vulnerable or Weakened, it's also applied to the enemy that sent it. We didn't gain Vulnerable or Weakened. They tried to, but they hit our artifact in. See, the only reason I question that is because I think, like, like, I'm thinking of it similarly to Champion Belt, which is whenever you weaken an enemy, uh, or whenever you make an enemy vulnerable also weaken it. I can't remember exactly the way that's written. Whenever an enemy gains vulnerability, also apply one weaken or something like that. I'm not entirely certain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Strikes. 
I'll just double defend at the end there. <clears throat> Hand of Greed, Bunker, and the Panic Button. Let's see if I can get two strikes in before the Hand of Greed goes off. Damn, didn't work out. <sighs> Hand of Greed might do this. Hang on. No, Poke did it. It looked like it was only doing one damage, but it was carrying the extra damage from the strength, I think. Two Warrior's Essences. I would never take either of them. Windmill? No. Poke? No. Dark Pack? No. Kill the Nightman? No. Uh-uh. None of those either. This is a crazy rituals deck, damn it. Now's I, upon pickup, obtain a random boss relic. There's also Hollow Soul, when you would die in combat, immediately restart the fight with 10% max HP. Regain your original max HP and, and recharge this relic if you win the fight. I think I'm going to take that. There's also uh, Ring of Chaos from Replay the Spire. All card rewards have randomly altered stats and effects. Uh, but Hollow Soul from Hubris, I think I'll be taking here. Um, if we could have just taken an energy relic, I probably would have. But I'm treating the Runic Dedekahedron as an energy relic for us right now. Because it gives us the extra energy when we need it, which is the start of the fight, so that we can get our powers in play and stuff like that. Defeat Captain Abe, so I guess Captain Abe's on this floor. Yup. Right, let's machinely sprite that. Gonna have to cop some damage this turn, but that's fine. Two Rit Tool. So I'm looking for Whirlwind here. Whirlwind or bust. <clears throat> Mimic Warrior gives us... Strike from Hell. Come on, that was so close to being awesome. <laughs> that was so close to being the best call. Um, yeah, we can exhaust Strike from Hell, but the thing is, we'll exhaust the card that does literally nothing first. And then when we exhaust Strike from Hell, we'll actually... Double block here as well. Cool. Uh, when we exhaust Strike from Hell, we'll actually get it back and we'll be slightly upgraded. Okay, we'll now burn that machine spirit out of the hand, definitely. Okay. And now all I have to do is try and get back to full HP before the end of the combat. I am healing from each of these instances of the new cards played. Which is interesting. Not exactly how I expect that to occur. There we go. Nice. Um, nope. Manning Murmurs. At the start of your turn, place a random card from your discard pile into your hand. It costs one less this turn or it costs zero this turn in the upgrade. Now, that, like... It does have a similar crazy effect. Crazy Rituals. It's less crazy, obviously, because it's drawing from your deck. But also, for our deck, that's a bad thing. So I'm pretty pleased with how this is going for us right now. Yeah, let's get more crazy rituals than ceremony there. Transmutation. Does it cost for X? It does. It does cost for X. Interesting. Extremely interesting. I love it. All right. Gemini form electrocute sacrificial <laughs> Lose HP equal to total half of its attack. I think I electrocuted it first, so I wouldn't have had much of an effect from that. By the way, the reason I play the ritual components out of the hand is because you get nothing from them until you have them all in hand. And if you don't have a different draw card, then you just play them. Sorry, because there was a comment about that. Uh, alright. Magic, sure. Malt the wound. <laughs> Salt the wound. Uh, these ritual components are pretty ridiculous. With uh, letter opener, as well as with beaked in particular. Dig deeper, lose, uh, heal one HP for all the strength you get. No. Remove all of your debuffs, exhaust. That's interesting. Yeah. Yep. That seems like a thing that totally fits in this deck. Survival Instincts, Ceremony. 
don't need to take their extra damage that turn. Hell yeah, let's bounce back this early. Just not have frailty. So that I can defend on this turn if I need to. Which it looks like I do need to, but also I'm not going to. Because crazy rituals are cool. Aww. Our crazy rituals did nothing. Uh -oh. right, we'll molt the survival instinct. Next year is going to be the machine. Learning in particular. Clockwork egg draw a card. Sure. Storm is going to be really good. Oh my gosh, that's going to get us a lot over the course of this combat, I have to imagine. Just because so many powers get played. Ooh, nothing this time. Fetch a random card from your discard pile. There's none in there. Awesome. There's the Meteor Strike. I knew that had to happen eventually. There it goes. Meteor Strike in the back line as well. Sure. Nice. Evade? Trade-off. Exhaust one random card in your hand with a one. Uh, no. Just not going to do that one. Uh, Dead Branch, I have to imagine, would actually fill my entire hand. Because I'm going to guess that uh, the cards that are played by Crazy Rituals also count as being played by us. And the reason I'm going to guess that is because Crazy Rituals uh, gains our strength on the cards that are played. And because of that, I think that the cards that exhaust from that, which includes a fair bit of them, uh, will actually put more cards in my hand. Now, why am I saying that that's a bad thing with respect to the dead branch? No reason at all. I'm taking it. Let's go. <laughs> Just trying to set you up for disappointment. <laughs> uh, upgrade all strikes and defense is a really, really good idea right now. Um, I don't think I have anything that I want to upgrade before the boss fight, so I'll rest after it, hopefully. Crazy, crazy defense. Mm -hmm. Ow. That regret's going to be a problem. <clears throat> Jack of all trades and panic button. Both of those exhausts. I didn't get a random card from Dead Branch from each. Huh. Imagine my surprise. The bomb and cheeky tricks. Ignore the next four wither effects this combat. Okay. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a lot of wounds in our hand. Uh, don't have any negatives. So I'm sure. Ooh, full house. Hell yeah. Definitely want that. Right, well, full house for the full draw. Cool, because I can panic button and go fully aggressive this turn, which I think actually may be correct. Or I could actually just Huntress Spirit, double defend, also go aggressive, leaving the panic button still in my deck. Then Steam burns the defend. Sorry, the regret. Then definitely molt the wound. Cool. Mummified hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random hand, a random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of the turn. Oh my god. You can play everything now. Uh, adrenaline potion over the top of milkshake. Definitely. Okay, we can light the branch up in order to get a special relic that gives us extra regen at the start of each combat. That's actually pretty good for us, isn't it? Well, start of each combat uh, if we were previously in a campsite. Hmm. 
Hmm. No, things get more random if I don't burn it. I want to save it. Yep, guess I'll upgrade Molting there. Don't really have that many more upgrades we need to do either. Card removal we do, though. Is there any of these that immediately leaps out at us? No. Uh, this is the Mobius coin. Uh, gain an additional 50 gold every time you complete a quest, as well as the Light Sheen Nut upon pickup. Lose 25% of your max HP at the start of combat, gain 3 regen, as well as the toolbox from the base game. Add a random colors card to your hand at the start of each combat. I'm going to card remove the Survival Instincts, which is proving primarily unplayable. I'm just going to get through all those plosives. Quantum Egg. Whenever a card is created during combat, it's upgraded. I... I think I've had this before and it doesn't affect crazy rituals because it doesn't create cards. I think that's the case. I want to play bounce back here. <clears throat> yeah, just for the trigger of that. And then I'll throw a fire potion against you as well. Cool. Just completely deplete the field. Because we get more powerful over time, so... Whoa, Eclipse is going to exhaust my entire hand. We're going to have a ridiculously full hand. And they all are upgraded. Quantum uh, quantum Egg Dead Branch. They're all upgraded. I love it. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, gosh. And they all cost zero. Or rather, a lot of them cost zero. Yeah. Redirect is gain five block. We definitely want to play Maddening Murmurs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I basically just play everything. Daydream, Foresight. I don't redirect. I don't want to redirect at least. I guess I just get these Dig Deeps out of the deck. I don't want to redraw them yet. I'm actively choosing to take damage this turn just because, yeah, drawing into my inspirations, probably not a great idea that turn in particular. Yep, because we'd end up with way too many cards and things would get nuts like that. Okay. Um, definitely play both insights. Just draw a ridiculous amount over the time. They put inspirations in our deck per turn, just in case you're wondering. Uh, I do want to double strike and then I'm going to Hunter's Essence to draw a ridiculous amount of cards. Uh, yikes. We actually have to have a way to win here, though, as well. Blood Ritual. It's pretty good. As far as ways to win go. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna have a ridiculous amount of energy next turn. We're gonna go off. <clears throat> oh, look, there's an awakened form in the deck, as well as uh, Machine Spirit. That's gonna be interesting. Oh my god, as well as awakened form's ritual. Mm hmm. Yep, this, uh, this only gets nuttier. So I'm actually just gonna go for the damage right now, because. I don't need to be here for a billion years. Stunning blur. Got him. Bye bye. Uh, <laughs> Dalton Egg. Whenever you get a rare card to your deck, it's upgraded. Whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, it's upgraded. Um. Oh, cool. Struggle's been changed. Can only be played if every other card in play uh, in hand is unplayable, and it's the keyword unplayable. Cool. That's much clearer now. Uh, Cursing Blood, Desperate Swing. Not particularly interested in any of those. I could leap in there and then go fight a nightmare, but... Apparition? I mean, five turns worth of intangibility for us is pretty, pretty big. It basically just means I always get all of my rituals out and I'm always, like, doing fine by the time they're in play. And when I play them, they generate new cards and those new cards are upgraded from the quantum egg. I think I take it. I think we take that for the possibility of just getting nuttier. Just nuttier and nuttier and nuttier. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was super cool. 
Ooh, da da da, plays. Uh, I can play the apparition. Now we can just full house, and then I'm thinking defend, crazy rituals. Another apparition, and now we just wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god, Echo Form is now in play. Uh, I have to imagine that considered itself as being played at the start of the round, so I don't think it's going to be in play for our first play this turn. That is to say, for our first cast. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Bounce back to remove all debuffs. Do we have any debuffs on us at that point? I don't think we did. All right, those two sticks are gonna be super useful. And take him down. Full house, immediately upgraded when we draw it. I mean, the golden egg previously upgrades it. But the thing is, we actually don't need extra draw. We generate way too many cards already with the dead branch. What we need is the extra energy to be able to play them all. Ooh, that machine essence. Wowzers. All right, I'm gonna burn the stick smack. Definitely try and burn that redirect. <clears throat> Easy apparition. Mimic Warrior gives us path through <clears throat> Probably not a great idea. What with all the wounds? Uh-oh, we just played Berserk. That could be a problem. Oh, wait, never mind. Bounce back. Immediately remove the debuff. Hell yeah. Uh, I can actually sack scars then, or rather apparition then sack scars here. Ooh, awakened one, nice. So Sack Scars would lose one HP, gains three max HP. Three max HP is really big when you have none. Take 15 damage, next turn heal twice that much HP. Sure, we have intangibility, so we're just gonna heal for 30 next turn. Nice. Those really take their sweet time casting. Oh right, of course we can't heal because of the, the other card. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll play Molting there just for the possibility of getting damn. Uh, either two more skills or a single attack, so I would have had the ability to kill that turn. This should just kill, right? Yeah, one of you just kills. Maddening Murmurs again. Sneko, we get a random relic. Oh my gosh. When uh, upon pickup, choose two cards. Whenever you draw one of these cards, draw the other. Um, I'm going to just put both of the crazy rituals in so that I get all of them in play on the same turn. There they are, the crazy rituals. Well, definitely should have done that in a different order so I could have machine spirited them. Oh well. Well, it happens. Play apparition, another apparition, another apparition. Ooh, machine, yeah, rainbow. Not half bad. Oh God, we're intangible for a billion turns. When'd that happen? I didn't plan that. Oh well, I'll take what I get. My intangibility appears to be increasing by one every turn, even when I'm not playing cards that give us intangibility. I don't know what I'm doing. What? Discard, I'll discard a burn and a devastation. Oh, this is a reprogram. Yeah. Right. Damn, I actually could have played the Screeching Chomp that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mimic Machine, give us a power. Choose a card to copy? Mimic Machine. Mimic Machine, give me a power. That's recursion. Where'd my Dark Orb go? <laughs> I'm not seeing all of the effects of all of these different cards just because so many things are happening at the same time. It's really difficult to kind of keep any in particular in mind. Right, 
We'll mimic the machine. Hmm, force field, not bad. Mimic the machine. Specialized circuitry. Innate, choose a type of orb. When you channel an orb, channel the chosen type instead. Uh, I'm going to machine spirit that. And I'm going to choose... Oh, God. I'm going to choose frost. Is that working? Okay. It seems to be working. Uh, defend, defend, defend. Not a huge fan of the fact that Combust triggered there, but eh, it's okay. We can get ourselves back to full HP. Hopefully. Oh, got him. <clears throat> Onion Ring. You gain three strength at the start of combat. Lose one strength over the next three rounds. I mean, Mimic Machine is effectively pre-upgraded because it adds a random defect card to our hand that costs zero, and it's already upgraded from the Quantum Egg. So we could just take Mimic Machine here. But I, I'm kind of fine with the simplicity of the deck at the moment. <clears throat> I do want some of these apparitions upgraded so that I can hold them for right turns, though. I mean, sure. Hit me. Ooh, you got me with that deck's down. Nice work. Deadly Aura. Didn't play its effect, of course, because it's at end of turn. I'm gonna burn that desperate swing. It's just like super not what this deck uses. <clears throat> Meteor Strike and Stasis. Okay, those are probably gonna be handy. Oh, look, we got Shadow Fade. Hell yeah, choose a card to put it in. Stasis. Uh, Apparition, obviously. Okay, so we'll now Shadow Fade for 5 Intangibility. Actually, probably we bounce back. Then we'll Ceremony. Trade off. I'm just going to gain more turns of Intangibility here, frankly. Trade off to draw some more cards. Yeah, got another Shadow Fade there, and it came free upgraded as well. We have the ability to effectively just have infinite turns of choose a card in hand. It's innate for the next combat. Oh my god. Can I? Oh, I can't choose cards that na naturally aren't in this deck. Okay, that's interesting. And to do is the placeholder apparently for choosing this. Right, I'll take that mimic. Um, yeah, Shadow Fade is like enough for this whole battle. And I don't have to worry about the wither effect of it because they're not my Shadow Fades. Super cool. Ooh, look at that awakened form. Hell yeah. All right, defend, defend, machine spirit, defend. Just trying to get all of these effectively out of our hands. Gosh, why are they echo forming right now? I don't know why any cards are getting duplicated. I don't think I have any duplication effects at the moment. Hmm. Dig deeper. Windmill. Trade off. Remove the brace. We may actually end up getting to play Wild Instinct here. Oh, sorry, uh, Struggle here. Deal 40 damage. Do I have like ridiculous strength or something? Why is it dealing 40 damage? Does it always deal 40 damage? I have no clue. Oh, the awakened form again. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, our energy is pretty ridiculous right now. I'll tell you that much for free. But everything else will cost you. All right, I'm going to casually accidentally draw my entire deck here. <clears throat> Recite some psalms. Yeah, things get pretty wild pretty quickly. Seems like to me. Probably none of these. Yet again, for the same reason. We kind of just... Do. Alright. Uh, Terracotic Horse. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Raise your ascension level by five. The thing is, energy eventually means nothing to us. I don't want to take Pandora... 
transform all strike and defend cards. I mean, they're currently actually good. And also I do need that defense in order to keep us alive. But if I did that, any rare cards would be already pre-upgraded. No, we lose. We lose if we do that. I'm doing it. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. We got very few defensive cards there. <laughs> I, just, I, I just want to embrace the craze. Get a little nuts with it. Maybe just this time. All right, negation on flinch. So flinch didn't wither that turn. <clears throat> That's what the negation on flinch is for. Uh, okay, crazy ritual, case ritual, apparition, then blood ritual for one HP loss. Damn. <laughs> if only I remembered that playing exhaust cards is playing draw first effectively, right? Because it's drawing me cards. Tucking feathers here, then apparition set up a sack, I guess. Never mind, it killed. Do none of those either. Uh, that's a very expensive red mask right there. Not 745 for that, thank you. <laughs> Tell him he's joking, mate. Uh, oh, I gave his crazy rituals as well. Hell yes. Am I playing the other apparition? Yes, I am. So do I play it first? Yes, I do. Overexert. Yeah, that can't take much energy from us this turn. Oh, it can try. Oh, I tell you it can try. Right, negation on Psalm. Apply one vulnerability to all enemies? Sure. So we'll take a uh, quarter pointed one damage here. Oh my god, that Storm of Steel. <laughs> thank you for the shivs. And thank you, shivs, for the other upgrade. <laughs> oh my god, this sucks. This is a garbage hand. This is horrible. Wow. It's amazing how bad the cards we got were. I'm actually amazed. This is my amazed voice. I only use it exclusively for situations in which I have been thoroughly amazed all right resilience war no. No, 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 no none of that just the crazy rituals please dark pact shuffle a regret into your draw pile get six plated armor that's pretty good Uh -huh. Oh my god, sack scars as well. Uh, just short of being able to play a ridiculous amount of things. Alright, I will take the Dark Pact here. I'm kind of expecting just to be able to kill this turn. Spin Drive, Private Reserves. That's Apparition, then bounce back, remove the inability to heal. Gosh, we've got a lot of bounces back right now. The correct pluralization that I've just invented for bounce back. Cool. <clears throat> oh, one for all and the violent... Violent? Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking these violent ends... Ha uh, these violent delights have violent ends or something like that. But no, it's the volatile misfortune... Free, sure. Um, yeah, I guess I just stick. Okay, stick. All stick smack cards. 
deal two additional damage this combat. Return the last stick smack card to your hand. So if you play, if you have a card, a hand of ten cards, and then you play a draw card, it will leave your hand. Then its effect will trigger. So you will draw the tenth card. However, this doesn't seem to work that way. If it's played as the tenth card, it does not return stick smack to your hand. Important to note that. Uh, not certain whether or not that's intentional, but it's important to note that specifically just for the way in which that interacts. It may have also just been the only stick smack that I had in my deck. Yeah, it is. The only stick smack I had in my deck was in my hand. That's what did it. It's, it was entirely on me. Okay. Speaking of being madness, ugh. low quality rolls, I think. Get an upgrade that stick twice. No, thank you. I mean, with the apparitions, I think we actually may not need any defense in the entire deck. That may happen to be the case. Gonna need more AoE here, though. Corruption. Corruption. We have dead brush. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Get to heal at some point as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play until the fight's over. It's it's been done for a while. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, don't really care about the elixir. Do I have any burns? Yeah, nothing that I care about in my deck. Affected by it. <clears throat> All right, paranoia. Ooh, that daydream's gonna be a hell of a lot of draw for us. That's gonna be nice and juicy. <laughs> the madnesses are upgraded as they're put into our deck. All right. Uh, we'll machine spirit one of the crazy rituals. Then play the other one as well. We negate the negative of the defense there. Of the flinch, rather. <clears throat> okay. So we lost max HP and gained current HP. That's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not exactly the direction we want to be going in currently for this deck, for this character in particular. I appreciate the idea, I guess. Phantasm will kill a straight dash. <clears throat> not bad. We'll stick smack. Stick, stick smack. Uh, Malting, sure. Hey, blood ritual for the hell of it as well. Um, confusion seems to be overwriting. Uh, corruption. Unless I don't have corruption in play. <laughs> now I, ha I have seen this in my own time. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very surprised that. Uh, when it was on camera for the first time, it was on camera for one frame because I hovered over it accidentally in a store uh, and completely missed the reference. The singing. Hang on. See, I, I want to say it, but people are sleeping. I can't. I can't do it. It is, however, the singing ball. I can go low. <clears throat> Almost exclusively, in fact. Alright. I'll take two damage here. That seems a comfy amount for me. Uh, yep. Sure, we'll apply one vulnerability to all enemies and then immediately lose. Oh, gosh, we just got coal. We have intangibility next turn as well, so we just get to play it. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm, six mac for ten, sure. I mean, it cost me one damage, whatever. It's tiny. Um, okay, we'll molt. Actually, you know what? No, the riddle with holes is going to kill, but it's going to deal damage to me. Damn. Mimic machine. Thank you. I'll take the max HP. I'm going to take the max HP in every single position. This bowl boy is lovely. Extremely handy, extremely helpful, extremely friendly. Okay. Keen edge for vulnerability for free. It's a tour of spells. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, we negate. See if that gives us anything important. It does not. We have. Rishan, and yet again. Yeah, feel my pain. Sure, it does no damage to us. Definitely tries to. Ooh, okay. Let's see where how that core goes. Yep, no, it, it works exactly as expected. This is to do from prefetch. Okay, prefetch is innate in the next combat. I guess just like an apparition. Make ourselves safe for the next combat, I guess. <laughs> I love that we get the awakened one. The awakens form rather at the very end there. Your next attack this turn double, uh, does double damage. Okay. So we should do basically as much setup as we possibly can for whatever attack that happens to be. So play as many cards as possible beforehand. It should probably be six Mac. Cool. We got. Oh. Whoa! Still managed to finish him off, though. Ancient T set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. Uh, Punch with spirit. It, it, it allows us to double play apparitions, is the thing. Like, that's really powerful. Matroshka, the next two non boss chests you open contain two relics. I said I was going to go for the hardest thing in all positions, so this is the hardest thing to go for. Hmm. The upgraded stick smack does nothing different to the unupgraded stick smack because the quantum egg upgrades the stick. So, I don't think that makes a difference at all. Just another apparition, I guess. God, I have to play a bunch of powers this combat. <laughs> but if you play an Exos card, its effects are increased by two. I have to imagine, uh, because our strength is being taken, this will also work. Uh, also, Throat Lozenge. Ignore the first Wither effect each combat. That's really cool. Very incentivizing for a, uh, a Wither build. All right. Uh, we'll remove... I want to remove something that we don't want back. I'm going to remove Recite <clears throat> and take Chemical X, the Throat Lozenge, which I definitely need, obviously. Uh, War Paint upon pickup, upgrade two random skills. Uh, should I? So I'm thinking maybe I actually just fight the, fight the merchant at the very end here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Could have sworn there was a merchant here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, fine. Guess there's no merchant. Sheen Spirit. Yeah, great. Yes, I played those in the wrong order. And yes, I got punished for it. And yes, I deserved it. <laughs> what? Did you think I was going to say other things as well? <clears throat> Yeah, I probably would have fought. Would have sold a bunch of my relics and fought there. That would have been super cool. Oh, well. Um, windmill, Apparition, Recite. Still got invulnerability, so... Sure. That was incorrect. I actually didn't intend to play that. Ugh, the one that just gave us poison in particular is the one I didn't intend to play. 
That's a digitation four block and a card. Three spikers. Get a random relic. Hey, Blood Vile. We saw you earlier this run. Okay. Um, I'm going to remove all of my debuffs. Oh, yeah. We'll evade. We'll press digitation. Get those apparitions out there as well. Quarry's essences can be cast. No, 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 they can't be cast on low energy because we don't have Chemical X. That's a sad thing. Uh, we'll copy, obviously, Ray of Frost. And obviously, Ray of Frost. Seems like it'd be useful. Prayer Wheel, Nombos. That's also a relic that we have. And it says that normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Uh... Sure, we'll negate. I mean, we should have windmilled first, obviously, but with the amount of apparitions we have in the deck, it doesn't really matter, let's be honest. <laughs> there go both of our crazy rituals, so I guess we're just playing all of our apparitions before we win this combat. All right, <clears throat> that ultimately will do. We'll Huntress this Apparition. Literally, we're not killing them anymore, so we're just gonna end the turn until we get the enemy dead. E -e 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 Hell yeah. Sweet pot. <laughs> Probably better than a skill potion for us. Actually, probably better than a block potion. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty wild opening hand right there. Get a ridiculous amount of apparition out on the field. Get a lot of powers out on the field. Hell yeah. Thousand cuts buffer panic button. Oh, no, wait, it's not that panic button. Okay, good. We're fine. Shadow fade. Yeah. Blood ritual. No more molds. Hell yeah. Doesn't matter. I actually had a card at the end then that we could play. Oh, well. Black Barrage, Tactician, and Rainbow. Mm-hmm. We only need a single apparate. Oh, hang on. Fine, we'll bounce back for the card draw. Get Daydream. Sure, totally happy with that. God, that's going to exhaust a bunch of cards. <clears throat> Crystal Conduit is at least going to fire off this Dark Orb for us. Mm hmm. Hands entirely full, as it might easily be expected, because good lord, look at all of this. Just full house me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I guess I'll blood ritual and then full house again. Sure, we'll windmill. Move the negatives. Hell yeah, that'll get done. Gosh. See, I didn't want to have to focus on actually doing the individual actions there. I just wanted it to be done. Singing Ball plus the Prayer Wheel has given us a ridiculous amount of max HP at the end of this combat. Like, end of this combat, end of this dungeon. Run? Yeah, run makes more sense. Just an absolutely ridiculous amount. Ooh, all of these come pre-upgraded as well. Hell yeah. Backfire as well as compiled. Okay. Well, that apparition there, warrior spirit, next attack is played twice. I guess we can do that with the stick smack and feel pretty good about it. We could do it with Pekka, though. Yeah, and the second one actually becomes better because it gets the extra strength from the first one. Because we use Warrior Spirit. Flash of Steel and Exhume? Okay, what are we going to Exhume here? Oh, right, we get to choose, of course. Uh, I guess I'm going to Hunter Spirit and Apparition, then just play another Apparition. 
just be protected forever. All right, we've consumed our orb. It's gone. No more orb for us. Okay, and as it was revealed and then consumed, I can definitely see that's how it worked earlier. Cool. Mm, okay. Another apparition, flinch. See, the thing is, I don't want to play flinch at all. Uh, but it's not upgraded and it does wither. All right, I'm gonna play it. Feel my pain for just a little bit extra ritual there. Gosh, we are getting low impact cards this time. I'm actually kind of surprised by it. And the Pecker will finish him off, though. Tag bag. Shops have all three kinds of sale tags. Sale tags can appear on colors cards and on sale cards cheaper. And... Now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friends, I'll say it clear. Sorry. Um, all right. Two crazy rituals. Seems like a good opening. Uh, actually, the hand is currently low cost, so I'll draw first. Okay, apparition number one, apparition number two. Yeah, probably burn that machine spirit already. Mimic machine? Oh, turbo. Alright, let's see what the skill potion gives us. Let's go. Uh, go for the mimic warrior. It gives us rampage? How often are we going to get back to that? Awakened one. Oh, we could have duplicated that. It's okay. We'll get an awakened form in play at some point here, regardless. Just somehow it'll happen. All right. Turbo and Warrior there. Oh, gosh, cool. We actually just generated a new fully upgraded core to go into our deck. That's going to be like a win condition easily. Double tap and footwork. I mean, we don't have any attacks yet. I don't know why all of these currently cost zero, but they do. And I'm, I'm just going to play with that. No resort. I mean, I can get a ridiculous amount of energy for very, very little from us. I'm actually going to play the redirect there rather than the brace because the brace is a ridiculous amount of block right now. It's going to be good possibly when our intangibility wears off. If it does, that is. Machine Spirit, the ceremony there. I definitely should have done like all of this differently. That eh, hindsight. Repulse? Shuffle one backfire into your... Ooh, do while. We just activated do while. Oh, God. Uh, this might just break the game. Cool. They couldn't come back enough times. So we got just the bunch of upgrades there. Nice. Huntress on Blood Ritual here. Also throwing a stick smack. Two-plated armor is enough when you have intangibility. It can be enough when you're in turn, really. Uh, I, I really wanted to call this turn, but I guess we're not doing that. Abandon. Exhaust up to three cards. Draw a card for each out of Void to your discard pile. I'm actually pretty happy to do that. One of them would be a Void that I'd be removing, but I'd probably remove like, these three. Basically, this is going to determine whether or not we go off this turn. Tuck Feathers. Ooh, really good draw right there. Ooh, bounce back as well as Turbo. Okay. I want vulnerability to the enemy. There's two Psalms out there. Okay, this core is now looking like lethal. Damn. I wasn't actually going to count it because... Eh. It wasn't going to change how I was going to play that turn, whether or not I counted it. So I was kind of just going, yeah, it looks like it'll be lethal. So 
sometimes that's correct and sometimes well sometimes it's what you just saw Ooh, extra orb slot there all right race is now 92 block whenever i want it uh i'm definitely gonna abandon these two because they are god Brace for impact. Yeah, I'm probably almost going to have to brace as well. Definitely this time. That just seems like that one's sticking. Ooh, tucking and rolling. Yeah, this is just not looking like it's going to save. Um, could struggle for some damage this turn. I don't know. I don't really see the value in that right now. Glass hammer. All right. Hit with the 40. Oh, gosh. This is exactly what I was worried about. Ooh, okay. Full house. That could no, uh, load my energy again with that void. Uh -oh. uh, all right. I'm going to Hunter Spirit a stick. Return the same stick twice. Then stick smack. Then stick. Stick smack. And we're tucking feathers. Oh, I didn't get any sticks. It's okay. I got a steering blow that's lethal. Uh, that was a ridiculously long episode, and everything got really, really, really crazy. As a result, I'm going to have to end this episode really quickly for the moment. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. This has been Slay the Spy Modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, so it's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the past, present, and future uh, of this game, as well as a link to the GitHub repositories for each and the every single one of the mods in each and every video. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.